Hey guys, it's Anya and today I thought I would do a Valentine's Day transformation video. So this is what I would do if I had plans this Valentine's Day, but thanks to the pandemonium, I don't. But you can still have a safe date night at home. So if you want to know how I went from this to this, just keep watching. Now excuse my appearance because I did just wake up, but the first thing that we need to deal with is this situation right here. So this is what my nails look like currently up close, and yes, they look quite rough. I'll explain why in just a minute, but first I want to start with taking off the nail polish that I currently have on my hands. The shade that I had on was just a regular nail polish, so I'm just using nail polish remover to get the product off. Once I removed all the nail polish, this is what my nails looked like. And if you're wondering why my nails look so bad, it's because a few months ago I got my nails done and on some of them she put fake nails and on the rest of them she put acrylics. But she did quite a terrible job to be honest and when it was time to get them removed, I refused to go back into a salon. So I tried to do it myself using pure acetone and that went horribly as well. So I've come to accept that they're going to look horrible until they completely grow out. But I can try to cover it with some nail polish until then. So I used this pink shade by Essie which is called Ladylike. So here's the before and after. Now moving on to the face, the first thing I'm starting off with is a moisturizer. I am using this one by Cetaphil. Now to be completely honest, I am not a fan of this moisturizer. It still leaves my skin looking very very dry. I don't know if it's just not compatible with my skin, but you'll see later on in the video. You can see how dry my skin still is, so I definitely will not be repurchasing this product. Next, I went in with this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Tan Latte and just used that to prime my eyelids. Next, I used this Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Warm Sun just to set the concealer. And here, I did notice a couple of straight eyebrow hairs that were bugging me, so I went ahead and plucked them. Next, moving on to eyeshadow. Now, this was a new purchase that I was really excited about. It is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. The one I chose is called Very Bad, and I picked it because I thought the colors looked stunning online, and it's also a really affordable price in my opinion, so I figured why not give it a try. So the shade that I started off with is this light pink shade on the far left, and using a crease shader brush, I applied it as a transition shade right above my crease. Now as I expected, it was very faint on my skin tone, but that was fine. I did go back a couple of times just to build up the color a little bit before moving on. The next shade that I went into is the maroon shade on the far right, but to be quite honest, the picture is very deceiving. It does not look like that in person. The shade is actually a lot lighter and more dull looking to be quite honest and you can really see the difference in the footage that I uploaded of the palette in natural lighting but that is something to keep in mind if you are buying this palette for that shade it's very very deceiving. As you can see here I'm applying the shade on my crease as well as on the outer and inner corners of my eyes but I really had to work with it to try and build up the color. I was honestly doing this step for about 5 minutes I think so that was a little bit disappointing. So my initial idea was to do a halo eye look, so I'm just going in with the same e.l.f. concealer that I used earlier and just applying that to the middle of my eyelid. The next shade that I went into is this beautiful coppery shimmer shade. It's really stunning. I think it would complement multiple skin tones, especially darker ones but I am applying it with a smudging brush to my eyelid and to be quite honest, it was a bit of a struggle. As you can see here, it's hard to apply the color. I probably would have had more luck if I just used my fingers and since it was my first time using it and I hadn't swatched the colors, I didn't realize how creamy they are. Their shimmer shades are super creamy so it would have been really easy to apply with my fingers which 
in hindsight, I probably would have done that first and then just tried to blend out the corners with a brush instead. And then I went into the very last shade remaining, which is a beautiful pink shimmer shade. So using the same smudging brush, I just applied that to the outer corners of the halo effect that we created. Because right now you can kind of see a harsh line of where the two colors end. So this will help blend everything all together. I also then went back into the darkest shade again and using a crease shader brush, I just used that to help deepen up the edges and blend it out a little bit more. Next, I also want to do my lower eyelids. So first, I'm just putting some concealer under my eyes. And then again, using the darkest shade, I am just applying that right under my waterline with a crease shader brush. And then right under that, I went in with the lightest pink shade and blended that in. Next, moving on to eyeliner, I used the e.l.f. Precision Eyeliner. I tried to stick to an e.l.f. theme, so that's why I used the concealer, the shadow, and the eyeliner. But I'm just drawing a very thin line and winging it out as well. Then moving on to eyebrows, I'm using the Annabelle Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. This is the same thing I always use, so this step is pretty straightforward. I'm just filling in my eyebrows. Here, I just had to clean them up a little bit, so I'm just taking some foundation on a concealer brush and just cleaning up around the edges. Okay, and this is something that I always do that bugs me about myself. I tend to do my eyebrows last, and when I go to clean it up with concealer, it messes up my eyeshadow, leaving a harsh line. So basically what I did was I took a clean brush or brush with just some leftover product and just blended out the edges of the shadow. And then as you can probably tell, I did my second eye off camera, but here I am moving on to my lashes. So I'm just curling them first and I will be using fake lashes. However, I didn't bother putting mascara on my lashes first. For false lashes, I'm wearing the Ardell Demi Wispies. And the glue that I like to use is by Duo and it's the clear version. Now I do personally apply my eyelashes with tweezers. I just find it easier, especially because my nails are so long. However, I don't recommend this to everybody, especially if you don't have a steady hand because you are at high risk of poking yourself in the eye and permanently damaging your eyeball, which is definitely not what we want. So only do this if you're, you know, 100% positive you're not going to poke yourself. So for now, I am done with the eyes. I know it looks a little bit weird because the glue looks all white. It is still drying. Once it's dry, it will be completely clear. But moving on to the face. So the first thing I'm starting off with is concealer. Again, taking the same e.l.f. concealer and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it out with my fingers. And then for foundation, I'm using the same foundation I always use. It's the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade Toffee. And I just like to apply that on my face with my fingers. I also did apply it on top of where I had the concealer. I don't normally do that, but I felt like it was looking a little bit ashy. So I just did that to bring some color back into my cheeks. So at this point, things were still looking a little bit off, so I decided to just go in with my favorite concealer, the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. This is my go-to. This is the one I usually use, so I figured maybe this would resolve my problems. So I'm just going in and reconcealing under my eyes and on, on my the apples of my cheeks. Just to clean up the concealer around the eyes, I'm just using a small concealer brush and just blending everything out. 
and of course I did make a bit of a mess of the eyeshadow with the concealer so I'm just going in with a brush not taking any new product but just whatever's left and then just again re-blending out the edges that I completely messed up. Now at this point I did feel like the eye look was missing a little something so I went back into the copper shimmer shade and with a rounded liner brush I just applied that to my lower lash line but I only applied it halfway, so from the inner corner of my eye, halfway down the lash line. Hopefully that made sense. Then for mascara, I am using the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara and just applying that to my lower lashes. For contour, I am using the product that I always use. It's the L'Oreal Shaping Stick Foundation in the shade Chestnut, and I'm just applying that to the standard places, cheeks, forehead, jawline, all that good stuff. Next up is blush. I am using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine and it was actually my first time trying this product and I loved it. The color is really beautiful so I'm applying it high up on my cheekbones and up to my temples as well and then any remaining product I do just kind of dust it off on my forehead as well. And of course, as I was doing my blush, I realized that I completely forgot to powder my face. So I am going in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Warm Sun. It is a few shades darker than the foundation that I used just because I couldn't find the same color. So I just use this powder to set my foundation and normally I would do it before I apply the blush. But of course, me being the genius that I am, I completely forgot. So my bad. Something I also like to do before I put on blush is also set my contour. So I'm going in with the MAC Studio Water Weight Powder in the shade Dark Deep and I'm just taking the darker side that you see here and just setting my contour. Next up is lips and I'm starting off with this MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Whirl and of course just lining my lips. And on top of that, I went in with this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Berlin. This is one of my go-to colors. I love this product. And it's more of a soft brown color, but that's why I paired it with Whirl to make the shade a little bit lighter and still give it that pink tone. And just to finish off the look, I just put a little bit of highlighter on the tip of my nose as well as under the arches of my eyebrows. And once I did that, I was done with the makeup look. Now the very last thing is hair. Now of course as you can see here I've already changed. I will show you my outfit a little bit later on. But for my hair I just ended up straightening it. I really wanted to curl it for this video however I ran out of time because I was losing daylight. Also if you are interested in knowing how to curl your hair with a straightener I do already have a tutorial up on that so I will link it here. You can always check it out after this video. For my outfit, I just chose this black velvet dress that I got a few years ago, but you can find tons of similar styles online as well. That is all for this transformation video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a safe and happy Valentine's Day, whether you're spending it alone, with your friends, your family, or even with your pets. <laughs> right on cue. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.